I made it to Singapore. I excuse my uh my look. I just got to the hotel. Um it took 10 and a half hour flight to Tokyo with a layover and then six and a half hours here from there so it was nice that it was split up a little bit but I spent a little bit more time on the plane because we had some issues so there was a little bit of a delay in departure but I made it here safely and I was able to check in early thank goodness because it's before um, four o'clock or whenever you're allowed to check in but they only had a room with two uh, singles so I'm staying here until they have room for another one but I'm just happy to be able to get in shower and uh, plug some things in but I'll just flip you guys around and show you what the room looks like so these are my two twin beds for tonight a little work area I am here for work in case I didn't make that clear earlier we have a nice view this is the four points by Sheraton. It's a Marriott property. I just know that, but it says by Sheraton. And this is Riverview. So that's really cute. So I hope when they change me to a king room, it's still a Riverview because this is really nice. Okay, for the rest of the room, there's just a small little coffee maker, a kettle, which I brought instant coffee. Oh, good. They did. They do have slippers. I forgot to bring them. Okay, so closet, safe ironing board all right and then the bathroom how do I turn this on I forgot to put the key in the little I don't know what it's called but to get the electricity on okay so here's the bathroom oh looks nice shower too bad there's no tub I would love to take a bath okay so yeah a really small modest room but I will be here for two weeks. Oh, and the lobby was not very like impressive, so I didn't get a video of it. I'm showered and ready to go explore. I need a coffee really bad. Here's my fit for today, nothing too fancy. Just trying to stay cool because it's really hot and humid outside. <laughs> just got to the botanical gardens and it is beautiful but of course I step off of the subway and there's just lightning and thunder um, it's drizzling a little bit not too bad so we'll see hopefully I don't get drenched but yeah so far the botanical gardens really pretty it's massive so let's see how much I can get done today Okay, it started raining, but it's kind of nice because it's not a really hard rain and it just kind of helps to cool me down because it's pretty hot and humid here today or every day, I guess. So yeah, it's been a really lovely walk around the park. It's so big. I'm probably gonna come back another day and do like the whole thing. now I had a very full day 
after the botanical gardens, I went to this Muslim area, which was called Campaign Glam, and there was like uh, a mosque there. It looked really pretty. Walked around some more. Went to a different. I went to Little India. It was really crowded. I didn't take that many videos, but um, there was a little temple there that I walked by. It was closed for the day, so I couldn't go inside. And then I got a haircut. I was able to find a salon to fit me in, so that was great. My hair had been really long and uh, it was really overdue. So I feel fresh now. And then I just had dinner and walked around the supermarket. Um, I didn't film too much because it was really crowded. Yeah, tomorrow's a big day at the office, so wish me luck. All right, good night for tonight. My first day of school. Well, that's what it feels like. Here's my first day of work outfit at the Singapore office. Wish me luck. checking in I'm very sorry I'm still getting used to this vlogging thing but I have survived my first week in Singapore officially it is Saturday and I'm going to go get my nails done now and meet up with our co-workers she's taking us to a vegetarian Indian lunch so that'd be very nice and then maybe walk around the gardens of the bay afterwards so I'll take you guys along um, so far this week mostly been going to work having some dinners but then just falling asleep at eight <laughs> or nine because of the jet lag. Worker and we can catch the light show there. There's Marina Sands, that's the observatory that, uh, or that sky deck I went up to the other day. Day eight, I'm 
going to Chinatown to get some breakfast. And then I think Sentosa will go to the uh, aquarium there because it's so hot out. I want to do something inside and that sounds nice and cool. But I don't know if I'll take a break in between. But for now, let's go to Chinatown. Once again, wearing my Captain America shirt, skatey shorts, checkered vans. I thought I would get used to the heat by now after being here for a week, but no, it's still miserably hot and humid and sticky. They wouldn't let me inside because I was wearing shorts. Oh well. Okay, I'm back in the hotel room. I was just overheating and sweating like a mad person, but um, it's just so fucking hot, you guys. I, I don't know what to do. Uh, it's only, it's not even noon yet, um, and I have the whole day, so I think I'll just try to cool down, eat the egg tarts that I got, and then maybe take a taxi to the aquarium and then hopefully by the time I'm done, it'll be nighttime and it'll be a little cooler, although it's really not that much cooler at night. So this is the egg tart that I got. I love that it's like a diamond shape because usually egg tarts are round. So let's see. Mm. Mm, that's good. It's not the best I've had. The McDonald's KFC, or sorry, the KFC in China actually has really good egg tarts. So this one tastes really fatty. I think it said it was made with like pork lard. So that explains some of the flavor. It is very crispy though. Mm, that's good. I think it could be a little sweeter. All right, I took a little nap. Um, I'm gonna go to Sentosa now. I don't think I'm gonna do the aquarium because they close at five and I just don't think I'll have enough time, but I'll just walk around and see what's there and then get some food. I need a boba so bad <laughs> right now. So I'm gonna go get that first. Um, my hair or something smells like durian or something um, that stinky fruit and it is not making me happy. So I need to wash my hair. But uh, yeah, I wanted to see if I can do some laundry just because I didn't bring enough like t-shirts to like lounge in. And then I only brought one hoodie and it's freezing in the hotel room. So I checked the prices to do laundry though and it's really expensive. It's not as cheap as it was in Vietnam. So <sighs> I might just have to suffer through my sweaty clothes. But anyways, let's go check out Sentosa. <laughs> That was a really nice dinner experience, especially after the fail that was Sentosa. Um, 
it was just so busy there on the island and there wasn't really that much to do unless you like bought things like there's like a wax museum and there's you know universal and there's like a sky jumping thing so i don't know didn't really plan that well so i didn't and i didn't want to spend money on any of those things but it wasn't really somewhere to walk around and it was so hot and crowded that it really couldn't but anyway so i had dinner at robertson key right by my hotel and it was really nice so that was a good experience to kind of wash off the the beginning of the day but now i am going back to my hotel and getting ready for the work week good morning it is week two in singapore and i haven't been doing too much except working um i'm still in the two bed room uh i also didn't unpack because i thought that i would be changing to a king room but i am leaving a day early i got permission from my boss because um i just didn't want to be home that late on saturday so i'm doing that and today we're going on the cable car for dinner so i'm really excited to take you guys along for that and since i'm leaving from work on Friday, like after work, I'll be going to the airport. I won't have a lot of other sightseeing to do. So um, I'll just capture like the airport and show you guys a, a little tour of the Singapore Airlines business class because I get to fly business class. Yay, so excited for that. Um, so excited to go home. It has been, oh, what day is it today? The 20th, so it has been over 10 days already since I've been here. So I really miss, of course, my boyfriend, but I really miss my cat, so I can't wait to go home. And um, also, did you guys see that Stony Clover Halloween release? Oh my gosh, it looks so cute. It comes out tonight. I don't know. I've never tried to buy anything on release day. I imagine it's gonna be really freaking crazy um, and that it's gonna sell out really fast. So 10 Eastern is in the US is 10 p.m. here, so I'm gonna try to stay up and buy it. I also probably shouldn't spend the money because I also want this Hermes watch band, but I don't know, it just looks so cute. Anyways, stay tuned and I'll see. If I end up buying anything, things probably are gonna sell out so fast, I probably won't even be able to get it, but um, that big, I want this pouch, but in the bigger one, and they have that purple print in it. And I also want the mini one <laughs> because it, I've always just, I like like the mini size, um, but I really need a bigger one. So hopefully I can get the bigger one. The pouches look cute too, but I also just like, don't know if I want to spend that much money on a pouch, right? But um, it is very useful for travel and it's very cute. So um, yeah, we'll see. All right, I'm almost done. Don't let my makeup here. And I'm a little late today for work because I was reading read it for too long so all right i'll see you in a little bit excited oh okay two weeks is just too freaking long so i have to tell my boss that this is the longest i can travel she wants sometimes for us to travel for like three weeks so this is just this is it all right i can finish packing check out go to work and then leave for the airport from there yay <laughs>
pretty, but it's just like a big shopping center. So I saw the, the best part of the waterfall. So I'm gonna go through security now and rest.